Hey there! For the last few months, in my downtime, I've been archiving an unofficial Game Boy slash Game Boy Advance magazine called GBX Magazine. Game Boy Extreme. It was published from July 2001 to April 2002, with only 11 issues in total. It was published by a sister company to Daytel called Thin Ice Media, with the aim to be an unbiased review and first look at upcoming titles for the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance. It was also unapologetically used to heavily promote unofficial hardware and software made by Daytel for Nintendo consoles. Each issue was only $2.99, with subscriptions for your first three issues costing only £1. What made this magazine stand out amongst the dozens of other gaming magazines of the time was that each issue, up to issue 10, came with a free VHS called Action GBX. Welcome to the first episode of GBX Action. This month and every month, we bring you reviews, previews, interviews, and hot news on all the best Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance titles. We've also got some sizzling competitions lined up, as well as exclusive interviews with the movers and shakers of the Game Boy scene. So make sure you never miss an episode of GBX Action. With video reviews, previews and interviews with game developers. Each VHS was around 10 to 15 minutes long and pretty much packed with info, behind the scenes, game development and speculation on upcoming titles. As a kid, I had a subscription to GBX magazine and one of my favourite parts was the VHS tapes. I was only just given a VHS player by my parents for my bedroom at the time, but I had no tapes to call my own. Action GBX really filled that gap for me, and I would play Game Boy Advance while watching the tapes. For the final issue, however, they knocked it out of the park for the free gift. Attached to issue 11 of GBX magazine was a boxed Game Boy Color game. An unofficial game, but still a whole freaking game for £2.99. There were actually two games on the cart. Space Invasion, a Space Invaders clone, and Karate Joe, a Kung Fu Master Clone. It felt crazy that you could walk into your local corner shop and come out with a magazine with a fully boxed Game Boy Color game for only £2.99. I mean, yeah, it was an unofficial release, but that didn't matter to your average 10 year old. You were getting two games plus a magazine for under £3. What parent would pass that up? Each issue was jam packed with information usually presented in a fairly joking tone. It was aimed at 10 to 15 year olds, and you could really tell with the bright page colours, choice of games, and tone of writing. Unlike other third party mags of the time that just regurgitated other magazine articles and passed them off as their own, GBX magazine had people in the field, often sending them over to Japan to find out the latest news on upcoming titles. Speaking of writing, here's a list of the writers that were involved in this magazine. Ian Osborne, Jamie Wilk, John Haggerty, Oliver Lamb, Simon Bradley, Simon Brew, and lastly the fictional mascot that was created by fellow YouTuber Larry Bundy Jr aka Guru Larry, Sakura. He actually confirmed it in these tweets. After the final issue, many of the writers moved to another Thin Ice Media publication called GeForce Magazine, which amazingly contained a pull-out section which was a cut-down continuation of GBX Magazine. This GBX pull-out ran for three issues of GeForce Magazine before being retired for a Game Boy Advance section in the main magazine. So far, I've tracked down all 11 original issues and 9 of the 10 VHS tapes. I'm currently missing Action GBS Volume 8, as it's proving to be difficult to locate. So far I've found one collector who has it, but all attempts to contact have failed. Links to a YouTube playlist of all of the archived VHS that we have so far is in the description, alongside archived versions of magazine scans. I really hope you enjoyed my little trip down memory lane, and let me know what you think in the comments down below.